Hello YouTubers! I did a previous video and I mentioned running a piece of hose into your tank and hooking up directly to that hose where you can shoot the water in and fill your tank in just a few minutes. It doesn't take long at all when you can pressurize. This one is sealed up here so that the water goes directly in to the tank and the air can come out through the air hole there, air spout. And when I pull up, I got hose wrapped up behind the tire here. I just hook up my um, end of my hose here to a faucet and open it wide open. It will shoot the water in there full speed. And if it fills up, it'll. If you don't cut it off before it fills up, it'll usually start gurgling a little bit. Water will start shooting out here when it's full. Uh, we we'll go inside and look at how I added a second tank because every video almost on tips and tricks talks about conserving water and how to bring in extra water and add it from a, another source to a travel trailer if it's been parked in place a long time so these tanks here that come in them they are the rv stores sell them for about 150 to 200 or even more dollars depending on the size but there's a place in indiana i think near Terre Haute, indiana that they make these tanks and I was in the area, so I went over there, and they charged about a dollar a gallon for, for the tank. So I added a 35-gallon tank under the bed where I'm laying here to show you this. And then they asked me, well, uh, where do you want the uh, fittings and what size fittings? So I told them what I wanted. Basically, I just needed two fittings, one to let the water in and one to let the air out. So this is the fill line here that I got the water hose glued out there and it shoots the water straight into there and when it starts filling up I tapped into the water line to the pump right here this is the T that this line just went over to the pump so I tapped into it and added this line to the new water tank so water could come from this one and into the new water tank and then I went up to my my air um, line that lets the air out and added a valve. Of course, I, I tapped into the top of the tank that I was adding to add the air line, but I put a valve in here. And when this tank here gets about 90% full or 80% full, I can turn the valve and shut the air, lock the air where the air can't get out here. It has to go the water that goes in has to is pressurized and has to go in through the T and fill the other tank. And then when it fills the other tank, this line return line here for the air vent will go back out and you can see that they're both full. If you do this and fill them both up, it's a good idea to go ahead and run about 20 gallons out of it and lower them a little bit and put it in your uh, black water tank so it will function properly. So it was pretty simple to do and I think a $45 including the valve and the new tank and a piece of PEX pipe and uh, uh, clamps and that worked very good and I, I could go also I was surprised I could fill all this up two times and the holding tanks would hold it and if they seemed to be like filling up too much I could just drain a little of that soapy water out of the it, it, onto the ground like I'm taking a shower outside or something to make a little more room but I, I don't think I ever filled them up even filling these up twice the gray tanks um, and the black tank together helped all the water that I had used while I'm in here I want to show you another thing many people put these fans in their bathroom large fans that really move the air but they're like $300 for those things this is a radiator, electric radiator fan that goes on automobiles, and they're $28 on eBay. And if you add a speed sensor, this right here, you can see the light on here. I cracked the window open a little bit. You can turn it all the way off, or you can turn it on, or you can turn it up till it will blow your hat off. So that is a great thing to have, and I have installed a couple on my new motor home one small one up by the kitchen to blow the air out and i always like to blow the air in because you can make only only thing you need to do to make this reversible is to switch these wires right here 
If you switch them, it will run the other direction. But I'd rather blow fresh air in because if it's blowing the air from inside out, it's going to pull water, uh, water. It's going to pull air, warm air from under the refrigerator and other places that may be warm in there. So you really do better by pushing the cool air in. And uh, that is a money saver, but it, as soon as it you park and it starts to get later in the evening, if you turn that fan on and blow all the hot air out, your air conditioner won't have to work nearly as hard. If you run it or if it's not really hot, you can probably uh, do pretty well just with the fan here. Okay, that's all I got on this one.